Beaufort scale. The Beaufort scale is an empirical measure that relates wind speed to observed conditions at sea or on land. Its full name is the Beaufort wind force scale, although it is a measure of wind speed and not of force in the scientific sense. History The scale was devised in 1805 by Francis Beaufort, later Rear Admiral Sir Francis Beaufort, an Irish Royal Navy officer, while serving in HMS Woolwich. The scale that carries Beaufort's name had a long and complex evolution from the previous work of others, including Daniel Defoe the century before, to when Beaufort was a top administrator in the Royal Navy in the 1830s when it was adopted officially and first used during the voyage of HMS Beagle under Captain Robert Fitzroy, later to set up the first meteorological office, Met Office, in Britain giving regular weather forecasts. In the early 19th century, Naval officers made regular weather observations, but there was no standard scale and so they could be very subjective, one man's stiff breeze might be another's soft breeze. Beaufort succeeded in standardizing the scale. The initial scale of 13 classes, 0 to 12, did not reference wind speed numbers but related qualitative wind conditions to effects on the sails of a frigate, then the main ship of the Royal Navy from just sufficient to give steerage to that which no canvas sails could withstand. The scale was made a standard for ships' log entries on Royal Navy vessels in the late 1830s and was adapted to non-naval use from the 1850s, with scale numbers corresponding to cup anemometer rotations. In 1916, to accommodate the growth of steam power, the descriptions were changed to how the sea, not the sails, behaved and extended to land observations. Rotations to scale numbers were standardized only in 1923. George Simpson, CBE, later Sir George Simpson, director of the UK Meteorological Office, was responsible for this and for the addition of the land-based descriptors. The measure was slightly altered some decades later to improve its utility for meteorologists. Today, many countries have abandoned the scale and use the metric system-based units, ms or kilometer per hour instead, but the severe weather warnings given to the public are still approximately the same as when using the Beaufort scale. The Beaufort scale was extended in 1946, when forces 13 to 17 were added. However, forces 13 to 17 were intended to apply only to special cases, such as tropical cyclones. Internationally, WMO Manual on Marine Meteorological Services, 2012 edition, to find the Beaufort scale only up to forces 12 and there was no recommendation on the use of the extended scale. Wind speed on the 1946 Beaufort scale is based on the empirical relationship. Where V is the equivalent wind speed at 10 meters above the sea surface and V is Beaufort scale number. For example, V equals 9.5 is related to 24.5 meters per second which is equal to the lower limit of 10 Beaufort. Using this formula the highest winds in hurricanes would be 23 in the scale. Today, hurricane force winds are sometimes described as Beaufort scale 12 through 16, very roughly related to the respective category speeds of the Sapphire simpson hurricane scale, by which actual hurricanes are measured, where category 1 is equivalent to Beaufort 12. However, the extended Beaufort numbers above 13 do not match the Sapphire simpson scale. Category 1 tornadoes on the Fujita and TORRO scales also begin roughly at the end of level 12 of the Beaufort scale, but are independent scales, although the TORRO scale wind values are based on the three halves power law relating wind velocity to Beaufort force. Note that wave heights in the scale are for conditions in the open ocean, not along the shore. Modern scale the scale is used in the shipping forecasts broadcast on BBC Radio 4 in the United Kingdom, and in the sea area forecast from Metarian, the Irish Meteorological Service. Metarian issues a small craft warning if winds of Beaufort 46, mean wind speed exceeding 22 knots, are expected up to 10 nautical miles offshore. Other warnings are issued by Metarian for Irish coastal waters which are regarded as extending 30 miles out from the coastline, and the Irish Sea or part thereof, gale warnings are issued if winds of Beaufort Force 8 are expected. 
Strong gale warnings are issued if winds of Beaufort Force 9 or frequent gusts of at least 52 knots are expected. Storm force warnings are issued if Beaufort Force 10 or frequent gusts of at least 61 knots are expected. Violent storm force warnings are issued if Beaufort Force 11 or frequent gusts of at least 69 knots are expected. Hurricane force warnings are issued if winds of greater than 64 knots are expected. This scale is also widely used in the Netherlands, Germany, Greece, China, Taiwan, Hong Kong, Malta and Macau, however with some differences between them. Taiwan uses the Beaufort scale with the extension to 17 noted above. China also switched to this extended version without prior notice on the morning of May 15, 2006, and the extended scale was immediately put to use for Typhoon Chanchu. Hong Kong and Macau however keep using Force 12 as the maximum. In the United States, winds of Force 6 or 7 result in the issuance of a small craft advisory, with Force 8 or 9 winds bringing about a gale warning, Force 10 or 11 a storm warning, a tropical storm warning being issued instead of the latter two if the winds relate to a tropical cyclone, and Force 12 a hurricane force wind warning, or hurricane warning if related to a tropical cyclone. A force zero is a calm wind. If you see smoke rising from a chimney, the smoke will be almost vertical. The wind speed at this point is under 1 km per hour. Force one winds are known as light air. The smoke from the chimney will now begin to move in the wind's direction, although any leaves on the ground refuse to move. The wind speed can be up to 5 km per hour. Force two winds are known as a light breeze. The leaves on the ground now begin to rustle. The wind is also strong enough to be felt on exposed skin. The wind speed can be up to 12 km per hour. Force 3 winds are known as a gentle breeze. The leaves are now in constant motion and flags on a flagpole are in motion in the wind. The wind speed can be up to 20 km per hour. Force 4 winds are known as a moderate breeze. Small branches on trees now begin to move and if you have long hair, you might find it blowing around around your face. The wind speed can be up to 29 km per hour. Force 5 winds are known as a fresh breeze. Moderate branches now move and small trees are in motion. The wind speed can be up to 39 km per hour. Force 6 winds are known as a strong breeze. Using an umbrella is now difficult and any empty bins now topple over. The wind speed can be up to 50 km per hour. Force 7 winds are known as a moderate gale. Considerable effort is needed to walk against the wind and whole trees are in motion. The wind speed can be up to 62 km per hour. Force 8 winds are gale force winds. Small twigs and branches break off trees and cars begin to veer on the road. The wind speed can be up to 75 km per hour. Force 9 winds are known as a strong gale. Small trees now break and all temporary road signs blow over. The wind speed can be up to 88 km per hour. Force 10 winds are storm force winds. Trees are now uprooted and minimal structural damage is likely. The wind speed can be up to 102 km per hour. Force 11 winds are known as a violent storm. In these winds, there is extensive damage to vegetation and structures. The wind speed can be up to 118 km per hour. False 12 winds are destructive. Any unsecured objects are held about and there is now widespread damage to all structures. The wind speed is above 118 kilometers per hour and is often classified as a Category 1 hurricane. Force zero means a complete absence of wind, with levels rising up the scale as the breeze develops. 
From Force 5, the wind causes waves. On land, trees begin to sway. At Force 6, the whistling of the wind can be audible. When it reaches Force 8, small branches break off trees and waves on the ocean start to break. At Force 10, the wind becomes a storm, causing significant damage on land. The storm becomes violent once it hits Force 11, causing waves more than 11 meters high. When gusts reach 118 kilometers per hour, the wind speed hits Force 12. It's at this point the weather system becomes a cyclone or hurricane. Winds of this strength devastate everything in their path.